Once upon a time in a magnificent kingdom, there were wealthy individuals and highly respected people known for their intelligence. They were proud of their reputation and considered themselves to be very clever. One fine day, a group of traders arrived from a distant land, seeking to meet the king and the rulers of the kingdom. Their intention, however, was far from honorable. They aimed to take advantage of the palace residents' inflated egos and deceive them. The traders managed to meet the king, who promptly arranged a meeting with his trusted ministers to discuss their proposed trade. Little did the king and his ministers know. The traders had secret plans. They wanted to deceive everyone and gain great advantages only for themselves. During the meeting, the traders began explaining their offer using complex and incomprehensible language, making it difficult for anyone to understand. Yet, everyone in attendance nodded along. Pretending comprehension to protect their pride, no one dared to question or admit their confusion, fearing it would expose their supposed lack of intelligence. As the meeting progressed, the king, ministers and guests were served tea and delectable food by the diligent staff of the palace ensuring their comfort and satisfaction. And there was a young and attentive individual who took care of their culinary needs. Him as well struggled to grasp the traitor's words. He couldn't suppress his curiosity any longer. Suddenly he spoke up and said, I'm sorry, but I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. His brave act left everyone in astonishment, wondering why he had dared to question the traitors. The ministers, burdened by their own pride, burst into laughter and mocked the young man. How can someone like you, an ordinary fellow, understand something so complex like this anyway? They promptly ordered the guards to remove him from the room. However, the king intervened, speaking up and demanding, Wait, I also failed to comprehend anything they said. His unexpected admission surprised everyone present. Turning to his ministers, the king asked them to explain the traitor's proposal since they had claimed to understand it. Surprisingly, one by one the ministers confessed their own lack of understanding, admitting they were too afraid to seek clarification, fearing judgment from others. Gradually, the truth revealed itself. The traitor's presentation held no genuine meaning. They had cunningly exploited the palace's collective pride and intelligence attempting to scam them. Thanks to the bravery of the young waiter, who dared to question without the fear of being judged, the kingdom escaped the treacherous trap and saved a substantial amount of its wealth. In gratitude, the king rewarded the waiter with great wealth and encouraged everyone to embrace the courage to question without fear. From that day forward, the kingdom shed their false pride, realizing the importance of seeking clarification. This tale reflects the way most of the world works. It takes confidence to stop and ask questions to clarify. In a lot of cases, things are being done wrong just because no one asked. There is no shame in being an idiot. But it is a shame to stay an idiot.